Hey guys, Two Ton Streamer here, and today we're going to take a look at a couple of the new dinosaurs that just came out with the latest update. We have the Dung Beetle, as well as the Dimetrodon. So let's take a look first at the Dung Beetle. Um, I went ahead and spawned one outside here on the beach. You're not going to find these on the beach like this. Um, you're going to find these that are actually in the caves. So um, I went ahead and spawned one just for the sake of showing how to do this really quick like. Um, I've been away most of the day, so I wasn't able to get this out as soon as possible. So anyway, what you're going to want to do is you're going to need large animal feces. You can use probably any size, but I believe the larger one, I believe I heard someone say that the large one is, will actually do it faster. So you're going to want to crouch down like I'm doing here, and you're going to come up behind them. And see, it'll tell you that you can go ahead and, you know, you're going to be pressing E to feed them. I have my key set up a little different. So you're going to do that, and as you can see, um, it goes up pretty fast. This is a low level. Um, he'll probably gain like maybe seven levels or so. So whenever you actually, you know, do it, just put the food on there, and it shouldn't, a low level like this should only take like maybe two feedings, I think. I know I tamed like a level 90, and it took maybe maybe five or six. It's also going to depend on your server settings as well, which the server settings here for taming things is, I think, set times five. So, you know, it, it may differ for you, but it still shouldn't be that much of a pain to do. So as you can see, yeah, I got up really close and it was like already halfway done. Don't forget that you're going to have to also put some feces in your bar. It's not like meat where it stacks or berries. Um, you're going to have, Each time you do it, you're going to have to place more poop right back in your hot bar there. So, just make sure you stay behind it, because they will aggro on you. you got to wait till it's hungry. So, if you run into these things in the caves, they will actually come after you. You know, so that's why we have to crouch and get down and try to sneak up from behind there. It's, it's similar to the monkey and the Bigfoot. Um, the monkey, of course, it'll run off if you, you know, if it senses you. Um, so, for the monkey, you actually lay down on the ground, I found is the easiest way to do it. Um, the Bigfoot, you can crouch like this and get behind it. And it, this is similar in the fact that they will both attack you if they, they sense you're there. So, make it easier on yourself. Take some time, you know, and just go right up behind them and throw some poop on them whenever they're ready. And there you go, it's ready. There you go. Didn't take that long. We have ourselves stinky, and we have tamed a dung beetle. I would um, recommend people that are going to caves um, to maybe lure them out. Maybe you want to have another person and uh, with you and maybe have them pick them up on an Argent and take them somewhere where you feel a little safer because a lot of times around the caves can be a little dangerous unless you've cleared it out pretty good. But um, yeah, that's what I would do. So anyway, now let's, let's take a trip over here to my little taming pen where I have a Demetrodon waiting for us. And we're going to get in here. And these guys here... You can walk right up to them. They're not going to attack you. Now, if you happen to punch them or anything, then at that point they will attack you. So we got our gun here, and we're going to go ahead and use uh, the Trank Darts. And I can say that ever since the latest update, the Trank Darts, um, I, I, I like using Trank Darts anyway because they're, they're, you know, they're a little faster. But um, especially with, uh, since the latest AI update on the Dinos, the Quets. Oh, we already knocked him out. Very good. Um, dinos like the Quets. Oh, take a look at... I'm sorry. I'll come back to that in a second. Look at the torpor on this thing. It is just plummeting. That's something you really have to be ready for. You're going to want to take, you know... This is a level 15, but you're going to want to take at least, you know, 100 to 150 for this low level. Now, if you're taming something higher... And keep in mind, my settings are also different for the taming. But if you're going to want to do something higher, you're going to want to take maybe 250, 300, you know, narcotics. Which is kind of crazy for this thing. But anyway, wait till it gets about half... When the torpor gets about half like I did here, throw 25 narcotics on it. Um, of course, if it's you know if the torpor is higher, like I think I did a level uh, 65 or 90 or something earlier, and the torpor was actually like 3600, so I waited until it got to about 1800 and I threw 50 on there. But just you know throw the appropriate number, let that number drop to half, and then throw like you know a good chunk amount to where it's going to slowly build back up. And even though I say slowly, it's not that slowly, but it's still I think it's still slightly slower than when it plummets. So. You see the numbers starting to rise. We're good here. Um, another thing to notice is the food. Okay, he's not gonna take a bite, and I actually threw kibble on there, which is Quetz kibble um, for these guys. And that's a whole other subject we'll talk about in a second. But um, Quetz kibble is what you use. So even though I put the kibble on there, um, he hasn't taken a bite yet, 
And if you look at the food, it's at 1650 right now. He's not going to take a bite until it drops down to 1550. Now, again, the settings on this server um, may be a little different. So I think the food drain is a little slower on this one. So maybe if I if I left it alone, it would, he would probably be moving a little faster. But yeah, the food drain is kind of slow right now. So he's not going to take a bite until 100 points have come off. That's regardless, no matter what level it is. So he's not going to take a bite until then. So we what we have to do is watch the torpor. And as you can see, it's getting down close to about that. It's starting to get up there. Um, as soon as it hits 1380 and, and tops out, it starts to plummet really fast. This is a team, um, I say this is not a Netflix team where you can actually just sit there and, and have another screen on where you're watching Netflix at the same time. This is something you really have to watch. It doesn't take that long, you know, but regardless, you know, you, you, you really have to watch it. I'm not sure how Prime Meat would go with this thing, but with the Quetzal um, kibble that I've used here, it's it's not really taking that long. So... Let's take a look here. It's getting close to topping out. And all right, so as we're getting close to this, you can really this is where you really have to pay attention. I the first one I tried to tame, I walked off and it topped out and I didn't realize it. I didn't realize how fast it plummeted. I was kind of going by this, how long it's taken to go up and it's just crazy. All right, so here we go. It's getting close. All right, here we go. Boom, topped out. Look at it. Boom, it's just dropping, and it's dropping faster. It's just like unbelievable how fast it's going. So we're going to sit here, give it a second, and you see our food there. It's, you know, it still hasn't hit 1550 yet. It's, it's like halfway to getting there. And as soon as it hits 1550, he's going to take a bite. All right, so we start pumping the narcotics in. There we go. We pump another 25 in there. And there we go. Our number's rising again. We're saved for the time being. So let's talk about the Quetz Kibble. Okay, I'm not sure why, but the devs decided to go with Quetz Kibble. Now, it makes sense for things like the Giganto. It completely makes sense to use Quetz Kibble. Quetz is more of a high-end, you know, higher-level tame. Um, so it makes sense for things like that. But for this dino, I'm just not quite sure that Quetz Kibble is the way they should have went. Um, I've seen someone in Reddit say that maybe they should have gone with Spino Kibble. Since they both have sales, that kind of makes sense, I guess. Compi Kibble would have been another good one to go with. Um, cause, just because there's not a lot going on with Compi Kibble. And I do apologize for the darkness here. Don't have the gamma set up here, so I'm using a torch so you can see. But um, I, I like the look of the dino. I really do. Um, you know, it's a low profile. Kind of looks like a, like a bulldog or something. And, you know, just I love how sturdy this thing looks. And as you can see... We have a male here, level 15, and his unconsciousness slowly rising again. Hasn't taken a bite yet, though. It, sh it should be coming soon, though. As soon as he takes a bite um, of the Quetz Kibble, he's so low level that he's probably going to be like maybe 60 to 70% done already. So we're just waiting for that one bite. We don't even know how many levels he's going to get. I'd guess maybe 6 or 7. I know, I think it's usually like sometimes half of what their level is, as long as you keep it at 99. Oh, and there it went, there it went. So look, we're already at 70%. Okay. He's got a 99.9% .9 taming effectiveness. He's going to get seven levels, like I said. So there you go. Um, we just got to wait for that one more bite. So we're still watching that unconsciousness level. Unfortunately, we are going to have to fill it up again once, maybe twice, before he tames out. So, um, you know, I, I'm not really sure. You know, I love the dung beetle. I love that it, it can make oil and it can make fertilizer. That is a great, useful dino. This dino, I'm not entirely sure. All right, we're getting close to the uh, torpor. I'll jump back on that in a second. There it goes, plummeting. Oh, it's crazy. This is like Giganotto. This is the same thing as a Giganotto as far as taming. It's almost like they copied many aspects of the Giganotto over to this one. I'm wondering if that's some kind of profile thing, if they meant to do it, or if this, we're going to see some changes, but... It's kind of crazy that it goes like this. But there we go. Oh, I went over 25 narcotics a little bit. That's fine. Hopefully we won't need the rest. The food is at 1629, so yeah, we got to wait till it gets back down to 1550. But anyway, let's talk about the usefulness of these guys. Okay, so dung beetle, lots of uses. I mean, we're that's going to be huge, I think, having a group of those in there with your animal pen, letting them wander around. And they must wander in order for the fertilizer and the um, oil to be created. So it's going to be interesting to see how that works, because I haven't got to play with that yet. 
But um, as far as these guys, I mean, they're temperature control. And, you know, the base I'm actually at right now, we're, it ha we're on a beach side, but just a little a few yards away from us here, there is, it, it turns to snow instantly. In fact, the, the base that I'm building, um, one side of the of my wall and my gate there is actually, you know, I, I like to say sunny, but basically it's warm there. You take 10 steps over towards the rest of the base and it's cold. So it'll be nice to be able to test these guys out and see how they work. This will be my second one that I have tamed, so, you know, we'll see how that goes. I seen the video that they published where um, you were able to, they were st they were able to stand in the cold naked, surrounded by like four or five of these things, and, and that is useful. Temperature control could be useful, but I just you know I'm always on the go, I'm always running around and stuff. I just don't see myself having one of these following me around. You can't ride them, you know, because of that big sail on their back. So it's like how you know how useful will these things really be? And the narcotic cost to tame them is kind of high. I mean, you know, a couple hundred narcotics can be easily made. That's true enough. But considering the size, the usefulness, I just don't know if people are going to have a lot of these. Cool factor, I love how cool they look. I love the sail. Like I said, I love the body, you know, the way they look there. But I don't know. i just not really sure. Not really sure about um, the usefulness of these guys. So we'll see how that goes. Alright, so waiting for the food here. Maybe they'll add another feature to them or something, I don't know. Alright, so our unconsciousness is dropping here. Let's go ahead and throw the rest of these on there. Got down pretty low. Our food, we're like still 40 away, so hopefully this will do it. I don't even think I have any more narcotics on me at the moment. All right, so our consciousness is going back up. We're waiting for that last bite. He's probably about 30 points away from taking that bite. So level 15, he'll be a level 22 when he's done. Took about, um, took two pieces of quets, kibble. Like I said, the taming is times five on this server. I think anyone who's complaining about um, the taming being too high or taking too long, they should they should probably check out some unofficial servers. There are some really good unofficial servers out there, and um, it, I hate to say it, but once you go to a place where even having two times tame or something, I mean, a mammoth. You know, if you look at the calculator for a mammoth, it can take ten hours to tame a mammoth with nothing but berries on a regular one time server. Even even doing that times two, I mean, that makes it at five hours. That's that's crazy. Granted, you don't tame, mam you know, megalod um, I'm sorry, mammoths all the time, but regardless. All right, so the food is getting low here. We're down here. We only got 20-something points left. I think we're going to be fine on the narcotics. I'm not going to put any more into it. It's still going up, and he's like 15, 20 points away from eating. We should be having a fully tamed Dimetrodon. Any oh, there it goes any second now. All right. All right, so... Let's go ahead and name him Spike, just a generic name, and uh, there you go. So we have tamed a Dimetrodon. We also tamed us. We also tamed us a uh, dung beetle. We talked about, um, you know, what these things can do after they've been tamed. And um, I hope you enjoy this. We do have a very nice. We have a very nice uh, tutorial coming up this week where we talk about taming all sorts of taming we're we're going to be discussing the lingo involved with taming because some people have heard things you know like i just talked about um, a netflix tame that's that's kind of a joke but you know there's different kind of lingo people need to know we talk about the taming effectiveness how can you get the most out of those dinos you know um we're, we're going to talk about uh the, the pins you know your taming pins here you know how we um how to make one, you know, what what are they good for? What diners are they good for? I actually have two of them here. Um, I have two different sizes. So we're going to talk about these things, and it's going to be a really good video. Um, it's, it's, if you're a beginner, it's going to be great. If you, if you already know some of the stuff, you may pick up on a few things. Um, we talk about taming quetzes and gigas and everything else. Um, so we'll go into more specifics later, like buy dino for some of the harder ones. But anyway, as you can see, um, we're going to be going over all these things. Anyways, I have been Two Ton Streamer. And um, I will see you in that next video. Take care, guys. Video. Take care, guys. Video.